My name is Nathan Varney. I'm the band director at the University of Pikeville. I don't know that I could put my finger on the one thing that occurred, like a particular instance or anything like that, but I just remember um, when I first started into like grade school and you know most of my cousins, um, boys and girls, were uh, into athletics and that type of thing. Now there were a few that were in, uh, in music, but when my parents and family would say, hey, why are you, you know, are you going to go out for, uh, you know, Little League this or, you know, fo you know, football, basketball, baseball, whatever. And I was like, no, I think I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to wait until I'm in the sixth grade so I'm, I'm going to play the saxophone. And that started in like first grade. And I just was somehow fascinated by music, uh, particularly the saxophone. Um, and until I think my third grade year, I kept getting that question. And so like three years in a row, first, second, third grade, I kept getting that question in the, at the beginning of the school year. And finally in that year, I said, all right, look, I just, I'm gonna wait and, and join band when I'm allowed to join band. And if I just change my mind and decide to partake in athletics, I will let you guys know, I promise. And then of course, as my luck would have it, when sixth grade rolled around during that summer, they changed the rules at my elementary school um, to band was the seventh and eighth grade function. And so I was like, oh, I'm thwarted. I have to wait another year. I've waited all this time. But so I started, I started playing then. And um, by the time I graduated high school, I thought, you know, I really enjoyed myself, but I didn't think that I was going to pursue, you know, music as a career. I, I pretty well thought it was done. Aside from maybe, you know, some here and there, maybe doing, you know, doing band in college, but I didn't even know that that was going to be a thing that I would, that I would or could do. My friend Matt Moon mentioned several years ago I was sitting in a rehearsal that he was uh, conducting and he used the phrase make music, create music together. And that really resonated with me and really has stuck with me since then. Right before um, my fourth year, my, my first senior year, if you will, in college, I had decided that I thought education was what I really wanted to do and should do. I'd studied to go into much more lucrative fields financially then, you know, over the over the summer, during that summer, I taught a, um, just on the, the, the day before it started, I was asked to teach a middle school, vacation Bible school class, because the fellow that normally taught it at the church that I was at at that time was hospitalized and could not teach it. And I was like, well, I, I, I was going to be there anyway. I was going to be helping with the, you know, the recess time, if you will, and so I was like, well, I don't, I've never done anything like this before. I've never taught anybody anything. And so they were like, you'll be fine. Just here's, here's some material. And so I said, okay. And before that week was over, um, I, I was like, this is, this is what I should do. I added, I didn't change my major, but I just added because I was already pretty much finished with what I was at. And I just added another, another degree to go into education. And two years after I graduated, um, the band director that was my band director here at the time, uh, Brad Daniels, was retiring and I was approached with the question, uh, would I be interested in, in this position? And so, and I mean, of course I was, I was still volunteering at that time just to come and help and participate and play music. And then, you know, the next fall I, and I, I applied and went through the interview process and well, eight years later, I'm still here. So I was hired that fall and have, have been here for eight years now. I, I don't think that the view of us, of our program, of this program has, has really changed too much. I think that's a good thing. Um, I mean, I do things, I think most people probably have no doubt that I do things with my spin with my personality certainly at the at the forefront of them not because I want people to see who I am or anything it's just that it it just comes out uh, it just it just happens I don't know I I just 
I enjoy myself, I have fun, and I want, in, in a musical setting, I want the people that are participating to enjoy themselves as well. In middle school, in high school, and in college, I made, like, my, my best memories were surrounded either, you know, at a, or during a, a band function, a music function, or choir, I also participated in choir. Um, so in or around music, so that's something, I mean, I made some of my closest lifelong friends now. I mean, at this point, it's been, you know, over a decade, <laughs> approaching two decades now since I met many of these people. And so I think it's pretty safe to say that, you know, when you're starting to approach two decades is something that they're, they're probably pretty, pretty good friends. So, and most, not all, certainly, but I mean, most of my closest friends are are people that I met in band either in in high school some of, I mean some of them as early as middle school that have stayed uh, but or high school or college so and that's just something that I want to be able to afford you know afford the opportunity the same opportunity um, just to to make great memories um, with music by creating music and and meeting people um, that share those same passions. Mm -hmm.